Hey guys, this is Bob from Do It Yourself Forestry. Gonna go over today, real quick, little thing about uh, crown classifications of trees. Just real briefly what they are and then how to kind of tell them apart in a forest. Uh, the crown classifications are broken down into dominant, codominant, intermediate, and overtopped. Now, what all this means is when you look at a forest, there's going to be trees that are taller than others, shorter than others, and ones that are growing well below the crowns of the other trees. So a dominant tree, the, the definition is a tree that's got full sun above, on, on to coming down on top of it, and then most of the sides of the crown are getting full sunlight as, le full sunlight as well. And they're also above the level of the main canopy. Now a definition of co-dominant crowns, the definition of co-dominant trees are ones that have the crowns are basically the main kind of level of the, the forest. They also get most of their sun from the top, comes down on them from the top, and just very, very little from the sides. Next is intermediate crowns. Those ones are, they just get interme intermittent pieces of, you know, bits of shade here and there. They'll get some from the top, some from the sides, depending on how the forest composition is and whether what other trees are growing around them are. Generally, they're smaller, you won't, they're kind of tough to see from a distance, kind of in the middle there. Then you have overtopped. That kind of, I think, explains it all. These are ones well below the canopy of the tree. They're struggling. They get very little, if any, sunlight. They're tiny. They're not productive trees. They might be, you know, sh you know, a tree that normally grows very big in your area, but they're just, they get, it gets no sun, so it can't do its thing. Now, a better way I like to think of this, it might help you picture things better, is if you're looking at the horizon, looking out at the horizon, you see a forest out that way. As you're looking at the horizon, you'll see where the sky meets the, the tree line. The kind of the main level that you see, the, the, the almost straight line where the sky meets the, the ground, so to speak, those trees would be your co-dominant trees. Because so that's the main level of your canopy. And every now and then as you're looking, you'll see everything's kind of level, level, then you'll see a tree come out of nowhere. It'll be really big and sticks out like a sore thumb. That would be your dominant type trees. In that scenario, you wouldn't see the intermediate or the suppressed trees, or the overtop trees, I'm sorry. Sometimes overtop, suppressed, kind of go, or one and the same, basically. He said, you won't see the intermediate trees, and that kind of, a, when you're looking at the horizon, you definitely for sure are not going to see the overtop trees. Now, if you're in the stand, you'll know which trees are, you know, the big dominant ones. Again, they're the ones that are hovering, you know, dominating over the whole canopy. Your co-dominant ones... Like in my drawing here, the, the, these, these three big trees would be your dominant tree species. Dominant trees. It's not that species specific, though. There are some cases where it is. They're the big ones. They stick out like sore thumbs. Then you have the co-dominant ones, which basically make up the main canopy. Here one, here's a co-dominant one, here's a co-dominant, here, here, and here. You know, they might have a little variation of height, but basically they're the main, main canopy body. Then you have these intermediate ones. These, this one and this one would be considered an inter intermediate. As you can't see it from a distance, it's getting very little sun, you know, just a little bit from the top, maybe some from the sides, depending on where it's at in the crown. Um, and then the overtopped. If you, were, if you had to force me to write where an inter uh, overtopped tree was, we'll say I'm just making this is still an intermediate tree, just making a little more room. A suppressed tree would be growing. Here, it's getting no, here's the sun, happy sun, it's throwing its rays here, 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 but it's not penetrating down here. It's not getting those little guys down there, and that's why they never get very big or do much, and maybe end up even dying, depending on the tree species, if they can't handle the shade too well. If they can't handle the shade at all, they're not going to grow there at all. They need, you know, shade intolerant species need, need sun. So I hope that helps. I hope that explains a little bit about when we talk about dominant and co-dominant crowns. And next time you're driving around and you see a big horizon, start picking out those trees in the distance. It'll make a little bit more sense to you.